her favorite things and personality wise. I know, like looking on TV and just kind of seeing a picture, it's a lot harder to, you know, envision a baby. Like her favorite food is like sweet potatoes. She's really sweet. She loves to give people kisses. <laughs> favorite song is Baby Shark. Just like that kind of stuff. Um, can you tell me what's her favorite toy? Her, she has a little baby shark puppet. <laughs> um, what, what would y'all do together? Well, she loves to take baths. <laughs> That was her favorite thing, and she had little shark toys that swim in the bath and stuff like that. Um, how, old, how old is she now? She's 15 months a day, actually. Um, can you tell me a little bit? I see you said she's very sweet. Is she sweet with everybody? Or she, she is. Know? She loves everybody. Um, can you tell me a little bit about like how you're feeling? Do you, do you miss her? Are you worried? Of course I miss her, and like... I can't tell anything about the ongoing investigation, but they are. I'm sure you, you all have released an article about the car and stuff like that. So they have a pretty good idea of who has her. I mean, if they're watching, I just want them to bring her back. Is there anything you'd like to say to them? I just want her back. Yeah, that's my child. I'm sorry. I know this must be hard. Um, why don't you tell me a little bit more about her? Do, do you have any pictures of her? Have you, have you been looking Not at her? Not on me, no. Not on you? Have you been looking at photos and stuff of her while you're... How are you coping with all this? I just want her back. Um, if you could tell her anything now, what would you what would you say to her? I love her and I miss her and that I'll be with her as soon as I can get to her any way I can. Um, is there anything that you can tell us about like what kind of baby she is? I know you said that it's hard to see. She's a happy baby. She hardly ever cries. <laughs> she wants to wave and talk to everybody. She walks funny. She doesn't know how to pick her feet up, so she kind of wobbles. Uh, is she talkative? She is. What, uh, she giggles a lot. Okay. You'll smile at her. She'll just start giggling. She's very happy. Mm -hmm. And um, so you said she's, she is talkative. It's, it's full sentences. Like, what milestones is she at? Like, she's smart little girl she is she hit every milestone early she's not she can almost say i love you she's not fully got to sentences yet but she does say a lot of words you must be so proud of her i am when baby shark plays she tries to like dance with them and sing it you said that's her favorite song uh do you do the puppet with her a lot mm -hmm. um and i know all of this is, is very hard can you tell me like how you were feeling i just want her back that's all i want are you, are you feeling worried or anything along those lines? Yeah. Can you tell me about that at all? Well, the reason I didn't report it or anything is because I knew the person who had her, and I didn't want them to run away with her. And as soon as they thought anything was going on, they just kind of vanished. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm just worried about, you know, like where they're at, what they're doing with her at this point in time. So you do know who has her? You do. Can you tell us who that is? You don't I can't release anything further about that. I'm sure they will add two other the press conference but further than that I can't say anything mm -hmm. and um so you, you do know who has her are you, are you worried about her safety well now I am because they won't answer phone calls they've just kind of disappeared mm -hmm. um what is it like to I'm, I'm assuming that you trusted this person how, how has this trust been broken what, what's been going on with that it has definitely been broken after this um, have you spoken to her father at all during this process? Are you having any support from no. or, or from your family? Yeah, my grandma's very supportive. She always is. That's good. Um, but you haven't spoken to him at all? Mm -mm. When was the last time you saw her? In December. In December. Okay. And what was that last day like? Was it a good day? I think it was about around Christmas, right? Can you tell me about that? It was a good day. She had a little pink bow in her hair and a little puma track shoe on. It was hot pink. <laughs> and, um, what, like, how did you feel when I know that you're, you're hoping that she'll be returned shortly. Is there anything that you'd like to say to the person or people that have her that you think, um, they should hear from you? They should just bring her back. They obviously know, like, what's going on and, like, you know, they need to bring her back home. Mm -hmm. And you said that you trusted this person so when did you realize that that trust might have been broken well when they just kind of took off and wouldn't answer anybody uh around when was that whenever this whole thing started okay all right um and can you tell me a little bit more about like how you're feeling i know all this is scary and, and everything can you 
It is. I just want her back. That's all I can think about. It's just getting her back. Is there anything the community can do to help you? No. Other than look for her. I know they released the, t the car information and the tag number and stuff like that. Um, just any leads at all, they need to like call us so we can go check them out. Mm -hmm. Try to talk her. Uh, has anyone, like, ha have you gotten any information from the community that's been helpful or have you just kind of been... I don't really know. They've all been looking at leads and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, they are working their butts off. Uh, has the police department and everything, the sheriff's office been keeping you in the loop? For the they have been. Is it, how's that been going? Has that been good? Positive? It is good. Good. And, um... I know that you said that you're getting a lot of support from your family. How, are they, like, helping you going to courts and meetings and stuff with you? I know you've had a lot of... Yeah, they didn't know I had court today. <laughs> or I'm sure my grandma would have been there. Did you keep it from them, or...? I mean, I've just not really talked to them that much today, to be honest. And like I said, stuff was going on, like, while we were sitting in the courtroom, and I couldn't... Well, not while, but, like, you know, waiting to go to court, and, like, I just couldn't tell her exactly what was going on. Um, so you said, like, obviously you can't share anything about the case, so you haven't been sharing with, like, your family or anything either? Mm -mm, no. How is that, of not being able to confide in anyone? I mean, the police officers are very nice, especially, like, Sergeant Ma Matt Price and stuff like that. I can talk to him or, like, them, and they've been, like, really helpful this whole time. They really have been. And, um, anything else that you think that people should know about Evelyn, about, like, what makes her so special? She's just a very sweet baby. <laughs> She's got, you know, the little dimples on her face. Do you think she looks like you? No, she definitely looks like her dad, but she does have my eyes. That's good. You have very pretty eyes. <laughs> Thank you. She's the cutest baby ever. <laughs> so you, you'll you know it's her when you see her. <laughs> um, she loves everybody. She tries to kiss everybody on the cheek. She tries to wave to everybody. She's very friendly. She's very friendly and sweet, so... Mm -hmm. Um... When, like, when hopefully you, you're reunited with her, what will be the first thing that you do? Just hug her. <laughs> I, mean, I know it sounds weird, but, like, I just, I miss how she smells and, like, her laugh and, like, everything. I just want to hold her. Um, so, I know that this must be, like, you're, you're missing your baby. And then there's been trust broken, right, as well. Um, are you worried about her safety? I mean, in a way, yes, yeah, just because we can't find, you know, the car or nothing like that. But they have exhausted almost every option, you know what I'm saying? They're working around the clock. They have a whole room of people up there, like, dedicated to just finding her, and I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Do you think that they are going to find her? I do. I have full confidence. You do? Are, are you feeling hopeful? I am. Can you tell me about that? Like, what, what keeps you going? What's, what's giving you hope? And the team up there is just honestly really good. Mm -hmm. They're all really good. And I can, like, confidently say that, you know, like, when I'm not up here, I know that they're doing their best to find her. I'm not worried that when I'm not up here, they're not, like, you know, just sitting around and twiddling their thumbs. I know that they are trying genuinely. Okay. Do you have any regrets about not involving police sooner? I know that... Well... Sort of, but also in a way, I knew that as soon as anything went down, you know, the person was going to just disappear. And they have. And they've tried to find them. They are going to find them. Mm -hmm. And um, I know that they'll bring her back to me. You feel fully confident in that. That's good. Um, but you, if you could do this all over again, is there anything you would do differently? Yeah, I probably called the first day. <laughs> I should have. But I just didn't want them to run with her. Like they have now. Did you ever expect them to run with her? I knew that if anything really happened and anything anybody got involved, that they probably would. Um, can you tell me why she was with them if you were worried about this? They were watching her for me while I went to work. Okay. So it was like a babysitting child care situation? Yeah. Um, but you thought they might run with her? No, until they took her, no. Then after that, I was like, well, if anything happens, I'm worried they will run with her. And to be honest with you, I won't lie, I didn't know how good the team was up here. And if I did, I would have called the second that I realized. They are very good, like I said. They are doing everything they can, and I'm very confident in that. And that makes the situation a lot easier. And um, so you said that when did you realize that they had 
completely disappeared. Like I said, I can't release anything like specific. I'm sure they will at the press conference, but. Um, so anything else you'd like to add? Anything that you want to tell me about Evelyn? Her favorite food is sweet potatoes. She's allergic to carrots. <laughs> She's allergic to carrots? Um, what else does she like? She loves those little applesauce pouches. <laughs> She's very smart, like, even, she quit her own sippy cup at six months old, or not a sippy cup, but she quit a bottle, I'm sorry, and went straight to a sippy cup, and, like, I would leave her snacks on the floor, like, in the little containers, and she'd open them up themselves, and, like, get one out at a time, like, she's just a very smart, very good baby, and I just want her back. You just must be so proud of her. I am. Is there anything that you would like to say to her? That I love her, and that I will find her, and she'll be back with me, as soon as humanly possible. Anything else you think people should know? No, not at this moment. <laughs>